Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another video. I'm excited for, to finally put this video together. I've been trying to do this for a few weeks, but I was waiting for this beautiful thing sitting in front of your faces right now. The Nexu, it finally arrived today. I was hoping to get one at the Toy Fair I went to the other, the other week, um, but uh, yeah, there were none around. So this is the last missing piece of the puzzle the three-piece puzzle to uh, uh, collect the uh, Ge Geonosis sort of battle beasts from the uh, arena. And yeah, the Nexu actually proved quite difficult and it's uh, been become one of the rarer ones, um, which has been made it a little bit difficult to uh, come, come by. Um, but I finally bit the bullet. It did cost me a little bit. I paid $60 for it. Um, but I'm really happy to have this guy. Um, and I recently got the Reek and the Acklay as well, as you can see. Um, I only paid $30 for both of those, so um, it was $30 postage. No, it was like $24 postage, and I won them in a bid for $6 on eBay. So $30, so basically it ended up paying 30 bucks each for each of these beasts. So I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, no, I'm sort of working on my Geonosis Arena at the moment. Um, up here, I'm looking at moving this display around. It's uh, it's too good to be sort of just sitting right up the top there. I can't really show it off. Um, so I'm looking, going to look to move it at some point soon. Um, but yeah, there's a few more Jedi characters I'd love to get for that scene. Um, really trying to go for the... Uh, the Attack of the Clones figures of the era, sort of the pre-posed Jedi, so there's a few more I need to get. And uh, then I can do a nice video on those lot, those things there, so. But uh, I have the beasts, so really, really excited to have these finally. It's only taken me 19 years. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, so I just want to go through one by one and take a look at them. Um, so this guy's pretty awesome. Um, so he has a uh, battery feature, um, which I have tried. It, I think the electronics probably just need a little bit of a clean up. Um, there were batteries in it from the previous owner, so that sort of leaked and got a little bit, little bit damaged in there. But uh, maybe cleaning up with a little bit of alcohol, I might be able to get that working again. Um, as you can see, the speaker there. And uh, there is a button here behind the leg, which uh, I imagine was the uh, power source to get it to, to make noise. Um, but yeah, it's got a snap shut jaw. It'll hold open nicely. But uh, the detail on this one is awesome. It has like a flexible bendy tail, so you can sort of curl this thing around and pose that up a bit individual he's got the little twin tails there all the spikes on the back are like a nice sort of soft soft plastic I imagine trying to find one on the secondary market in garage sales car boot sales and stuff you would probably find them to be sort of broken and stuff but they're actually quite durable I don't think they're gonna break in a hurry um, but yeah it's a cool looking cool looking beast and considering we only recently saw one in the Bad Batch, you know, episode two, the Bad Batch. It's kind of cool to see this one and uh, finally have a figure of it in hand is is just awesome. I love it. Great details. I love the claws, the pose. Very sort of predatorial. I love that. Really nice. So here is the Reek. Um, so this one also would have had a, uh, a, a sound feature. Um, it also has sort of a bucking leg, kicking leg sort of feature there as well. Um, I've actually glued that shot. And uh, yeah, I didn't really need, I've glued the head too. So the head used to turn, but uh, it left, it was left leaving a uh, big gap in there. So 
um, I decided to just glue that on and it's really closed that gap up nicely so um, I was never really interested in the play feature I thought it would be a cool bonus there's a couple of little speaker marks there um, but yeah given that this is predominantly for display I decided to uh, just get rid of those features uh, this one has probably a little bit of paint wear on it um, it's probably been in a kids collection at some point but of course if I had it in 2002 it would have been in a kids collection because that's what I was when I was in uh, well, I was in oh, I don't know I was 13 or 14 so but yeah I get a little bit of a silver sharpie and touch up that nose ring um, yeah I've been planning to sort of go out and take some shots um, get Anakin Padme and Obi-Wan riding this guy put a chain around its mouth I think that'd be quite cool but yeah nice beast I miss Hasbro doing beasts like this um, yeah it's just just really cool I'm, I miss the days of the beast so I wish we could have like a vintage collection mud horn I think that would be fantastic for the Mandalorian I'd love that and uh, yeah nameless other beasts from previous years I think it would be awesome so last but not least is the Ackley and uh, this is a tough one because he's a uh, his legs have got sort of gotten pretty loose over the years um, doesn't stand super well I've filled the joints with sort of super glue to try and to get them to stiffen up a little bit they still move a little bit if I try um, but for the most part, I've been able to sort of get it in a pose that's, uh, you know, friendly for display. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's quite awkward. I can't imagine how this actual animal would physically walk around. Um, but, yeah, it's got that sort of mouth opening feature there. You tip the head back. Again, some sort of paint has worn off the front, but that's not a big deal for me. I don't know what other features this had. Um, there's a the belly does open. And I believe there was meant to be uh, like guts or something in there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I didn't even, I haven't even researched it to be honest. Um, it's just another, another figure or slash beast that I haven't had ever. So, um, I always wanted them as a kid back when I was like 13, 14 years old, but never got them. I was always sort of, sort of trying to get the figures. Um, oh yeah, there's that little pinchy pinchy. And, uh, yeah, it's only on that leg. Little pinchy pinchy claw. <laughs> giant praying mantis crab but yeah it's it's fantastic I love it it's just so Star Wars it's so good I wish the uh, head sort of articulated a little more so you get it to sort of twist and move around um, and I may find myself having to get like a bit of a plastic support underneath it just to sort of hold him just up to stop those legs from bowing so much because they do sort of want to twist and he sort of almost wants to fall back a little bit but um you know it may take some time and uh you know being that he's just on display most of the time it's fine um but yeah i'm really excited to finally have the three geonosis beasts i think they're awesome i'm really really happy to finally have these three together after all these years so many years um, yeah, really looking forward to getting some of the more of the 2002-2003 Jedi figures um, to really sort of round out my sort of goal with the dis Geonosis display um, and pretty much getting pretty close to sort of filling out my Attack of the Clones collection in terms of characters. Um, so that's, that's pretty exciting. Um, yeah, it's just one of my little side missions and... Uh, yeah, this little side collecting mission is finally complete. I've been talking about getting this Nexu for, for weeks on end on my last weekly live stream. So 
I'm very grateful to have it. Um, I'd love to hear in the comments which one of these is your favourite. We've got the Reek, we've got the Nexu, and we've got the Acklay. Sound out below, I'd love to hear which is your favourite out of the three. I, I'm i going to save my answer, because <laughs> I still haven't decided. Um, I think as a kid I really liked the Reek, but um, probably because he got more screen time, but um, yeah. Let me know in the comments, and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe as well, I'd love to have you join me on my collecting adventures. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you, always.